you can come out from the hole you are okay so no matter what no matter where you are you can get out from that place and go to a better place and uh, a cool story from the book atomic habits is the story of the british cycling team they were in a really really bad place okay in terms of results uh, and even image because um, the manufacturers of bicycles were refusing to sell them material bicycles <laughs> okay but why because they were having such bad results that the companies were afraid of people associating the bad results with the brand so they refused to sell them bicycles to give you some more context in a hundred years they won zero tours de france which is one of the biggest um, biggest races in in cycling and they only won one olympic medal in more than a hundred years okay so they were in a really really bad place but with a strategy a philosophy with a beautiful mind the mind of dave brailsford they they were able to reverse this strand they reverse this trend and very very quick very fast how they did this well they did this with the aggregation of marginal gains the aggregation of marginal gains is looking gains no matter how margin how small how invisible they are to add them up one on top of each other and let them accumulate into well big results and which results they were well i will tell you the results were that in five years in 2008 the olympic games they won 60 percent of the medals there and in pekin and 2012 2012 london they brought home um loads of medals and they established nine olympic records and seven world records okay so they start seeing oh and just to f f finalize they also won six tours de france in seven years okay 100 years winning zero and then in seven years they won six <laughs> okay and they started seeing these huge results just in five years less than less than five years okay and in practice and i'm going to have it in a moment what they did well um the, they did different things but some of them were, were was uh, trying different types of gel uh, gel massages to see which one lead to better uh, recovering from the training from the racing and uh, i believe that's a little bit um, normal or expectable from a team right redesigning seats seeing which um, clothing were best for racing but well they even went to areas that i find more interesting or maybe not expectable like hiring a surgeon to teach them how to wash their hands more efficiently so they could decrease the probabilities of getting a flu of catching a cold <laughs> isn't that amazing yeah it really is and you can use this um to inspire yourself if you want from going from a, a really bad place it is possible to go to uh, a better place or actually the best uh, one of the best places in the world they, they were uh, they went from being the worst from the best teams in the world okay and and this is the same for habits because um you need to start small to create a habit or you should start small um except if you are those persons that say i will create a habit and you are bald as hell and strong and you are one of those rare individuals that from day to nine nine to day nine night to day you can start do doing whatever you want that's awesome and uh, but for most people you should start small very very small 
like for example if the goal is to start doing exercise in the first days in the first weeks let's start really small so small that you maybe don't even exercise but you do steps and you automatize steps that are needed to automatize the habit of doing exercise for example well you start by just dressing your clothes your exercise clothes for example okay and you start creating like that that habit and then along the way you expand a little bit along the weeks until it's full automatic okay that is for exercise for example and for any other habit or whatever you want to achieve